but uh, dry fasting the way I was taught by um, Dr. Morse, okay? There, when you are very ill, when you have a serious um, condition that doesn't allow you to have the strength, the energy to uh, go on a dry fast, um, do not go on a dry fast, okay? You wanna go on the fruits. You wanna go on a 30, 40 day grape fruit fast. That means you eat nothing but fruits, uh, grapes specifically, sorry. And you can also have, um, before that, you can go on to a fruit diet where you can eat all, any kind of fruit you want in the right combinations. So the best com uh, best uh, way to do it is you go on fruits for two weeks, eat all, any fruits you want, but nothing but fruits. Then move on to a 30 day grape fast where you eat nothing but grapes. And then you move on to the to the dry fasting. Because this way, by eating the, fr the fruits, you're hydrating each cell. That means when you go on a dry fast, you have all the uh, minerals, all the energy you need to go to a, to do the dry fast safely and effectively. Also, the fruits will dislodge all um, heavy um, obstructions in the body, and that way, when you dry fast, you do you don't have to worry about um, the ill effects of dry fasting. Because some people they'll go on dry fasting from a f uh, meat to dairy product uh, diet into dry fasting, and it can be dangerous because it dislodges. Or, um, when you dry fast, it dislodges all the toxins, and if you're not clean inside, the toxins have nowhere to go, and they go into the blood, and that can be dangerous. So always fruits first for a little while before you attempt dry fasting. And when you dry fast, it should be gradual. You know, you start with uh, 12 to 16 hour uh, dry fast days, and then move on to 24 hour dry fast days, broken up with some fruits, refeeding, and then repeat. So I hope this helped you. More of this coming your way.